Alrighty, random tag. Uh, what is the funniest uh, corporate slash business screw up uh, you have heard of? Funniest? I don't. Know. Um, you know, I have no idea uh, what the funniest corporate screw up was. Uh, I, I know there's been um, high level business people who have uh, um, been caught. Um, on tape saying things and, and doing things that are wildly inappropriate. So I'm going to have to say something like that. If you die and find out everyone gets uh, to choose a uh, 20 foot by 20 foot square to stay in alone for eternity uh, without being able to influence or contact uh, the living world, uh, what, uh, 20 foot, 20 foot by 20 foot square would you choose? Um, ocean front, uh, ocean front. Yeah. So I could watch the ocean for all of eternity. I think that would be the thing. Um, uh, what's, uh, the best type of cheese? Uh, the best type of cheese is Stilton. Stilton is awesome. You betcha. Uh, after that would be St. Augur. Mm -hmm. And the aged cheddar after that. I've had some seven-year-old cheddar once, and that was really sharp. If you were uh, king, queen, uh, this is kind queen. Uh, <laughs> that has to be changed. Uh, for a day, um, what would you... What would you... Uh, first rule uh, that you would change what would be the first rule that you would change king or queen hey uh, i don't know uh I, I would think i would change the tax system that's that's for sure uh but uh just to make it more equitable uh, uh the high end do not pay their share and the, the low end pay more than their share so you know what kind of cult would you like to start? The cult of Dave. Uh, I think uh, people worshipping me like a god would be fabulous. Actually, I wouldn't like that at all. I would not like to start a cult because cults are wildly uh, um, unfair to human beings. Uh, they take away freedoms and they uh, they basically brainwash people. So that I, I wouldn't want to. In one uh, sentence, how uh, could you sum up um, the internet? Every weird fucking thing you could ever imagine. First thing uh, of a first think of a product. Uh, now would now what would be the absolute worst brand name? Uh, for one of these products. Well, I thought of condoms. And uh, Rough Rider would actually be a good name. But uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to have to say Bazooka would be a, a, the worst brand name for condoms. Uh huh. Or Shredder. Shredder would be a really bad name for condoms. If uh, all the provinces in Canada were represented by food, I had to change this one. It was every state, and I'm not going to do every province. So if uh, all the provinces in Canada were represented by food, what food would your province uh, be represented by? Uh, I'm going to have to say cabbage rolls. You betcha, because there's a lot of Ukrainian people here, and Ukrainians love their progies and cabbage rolls and kibasa sausage and stuff. Mm. Uh, what are uh, some of the nicknames that you have for customers or co-workers? Um, God, I don't know. There was one guy we called Dumbass, which was pretty much appropriate at the time, but I, I don't think I would call him that now. Uh, I mean, he was unfortunate, so and that would be mean. But at the time, it seemed like the right thing. But, you know, the stupidity of youth. Mm -hmm. What would uh, be uh, the absolute worst name you could uh, give to a child? Give, uh, your, give your child. Uh, uh, dog face. 
Mm-hmm. Have a good one.